we'd like to say that in our opinion it is not suitable for children or for those of you who may have a nervous disposition. And with the time at exactly five minutes to four, we are now closing down. And as Richard Dimbleby has just told you, we shall be back again with the first of our situation reports. That is a report on the situation as it develops between now and then at 6.30. So until then, goodbye. This is BBC Television. BBC Television, nine o'clock. This is BBC Television. This is BBC Television. This is BBC Television. This is BBC Television. Over to the newsroom. This is BBC One. This is BBC One. This is BBC One. The last programme in the present series of It's a Square World is tomorrow night at 7.25. This is BBC One. BBC One. Now the first programme in a new series. The next program now on BBC Two is The Virginian. This is BBC One. This is BBC One. Now we come to episode four of the serial Smuggler's Bay, called A Reward of Fifty Pounds, and in it... Top of the Pops now, and at eight o'clock, softly, softly. Now the third part of the serial version of Daniel Defoe's famous story, Robinson Crusoe. Now here's Doctor Who. Well, there we must leave that film about the years when comedy was king. It replaced the published program, Black Panther, which will now be shown in two or three weeks' time. This is BBC One. Now our special program... And we must apologise for the delay in starting our next programme. We've just been informed that our star comedian is having a little difficulty in getting to the studio.
a moment, Morecambe and Wise, but first a look ahead to later tonight. And now, the Morecambe and Wise show. This is BBC One. Now, Michael Barrett introduces the first edition of a new programme, Nationwide. This is BBC One in colour. Panorama follows in a few moments. On BBC Two now, another Western story of the High Chaparral. On BBC One, for the first time in colour, Panorama. On BBC Two now, Television Doctor, tonight's programme takes up issues raised in viewers' letters. On BBC One, the news, followed by the first of a new series, Take Three Girls. This is BBC One, the time is just after ten to nine. This is BBC One. The next programme in just over a minute. This is BBC One. This is BBC One in colour. Now with the time at five to five, Blue Peter. Here on BBC One, 24 hours with Kenneth Alsop. This is BBC One. Now on BBC One, Dick Powell and Ellen Drew star in the Preston Sturgis film Christmas in July. Now part one of Sandy Duncan's Jekyll and Hyde's, another adventure with Scooby-Doo and his friends. And now some more surprises from those cartoon characters Pixie and Dixie. Now back to this afternoon's programmes on BBC One with Bewitched. <laughs> This is BBC One, in colour. And now, back in the nick of time, life on Mars. There'll be further comment on the budget in the evening news at 5.40. And the Chancellor of the Exchequer will be interviewed in the Tonight programme at 11.15 this evening. And now on BBC One, we're joining the Pink Panther. In ten minutes, Fleabag and Spiffy, the oddball couple, can be seen in two comedy films. First on BBC One, John Craven's News Round. At 5.45, Basil Brush invites you to a Christmas wonderland in Basil Through the Looking Glass. But now we're off to see The Wizard of Oz. Right now, BBC One invites you to join all the many guests, together with ABBA, for the Mike Yarwood Christmas Show. Well now, on with Sunday's programmes on BBC One and the final of Mastermind. Well now, we bring this Christmas night to a close on BBC One with a choice selection for a gourmet's dinner served up as a comedy classic from the menu at Faulty Towers. This is BBC One. On BBC One now, play chess. And now on BBC One, a little night music from guitarist Davy Graham. To end BBC One's week celebrating 60 BBC years, Ned Sherrin introduces the pioneering television satire show he created two decades ago in That Was Twenty Years Ago, That Was. This is BBC One, and now a seasonal Tomorrow's World. Between now and then on BBC One, Paul Daniels introduces carols from Buckfast Abbey. In half an hour, Grange Hill, but now on BBC One, Jubilee, a special celebration of 60 years of BBC children's programmes. At half past two this afternoon, The Magic of Lassie, a spectacular musical adventure with the world's most famous canine star. 
First on BBC One, an animated adventure as we go around the world with Dot. And now helping to make it a Christmas to remember the combined musical talents of Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. On BBC One, nothing but the very latest winners in Top of the Pops. And now on BBC One, a special edition of Tomorrow's World, a trip into the world of illusion where anything can happen. Now you see it. Analogue television has seen many technological advances and additions since the days of Baird and Marconi. From 405 line black and white to 625 line colour, the introduction of CFAX, the world's first teletext system, and NICAM stereo to name just a few. The move to digital television will allow technology to advance still further, providing even more services. And so from tomorrow morning, BBC One Northern Ireland will be available in high definition on Freeview, satellite and cable. Now on BBC One, a brand new look to launch the early evening lineup. At 7 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, drama with the East Enders. On Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, the live and lively entertainment is provided by Terry Wogan. Here on BBC One, worldwide chaos is threatened as a mysterious visitor from another planet becomes the harbinger of doom. In the day, the Earth stood still. And right now, Barry Norman is going to take BBC One through his selection of films of the year. But first, there's double trouble with Daffy Duck and Friends. Now on BBC One, it's time to celebrate the 60th anniversary of BBC Children in Need. First, we kick off this Christmas Eve afternoon with a cartoon. Before that, we've an anniversary to celebrate. Exactly 25 years since the first episode of Doctor Who was shown, we begin a new three-part adventure starring Sylvester McCoy, Silver Nemesis. And now on BBC One, Christopher Lambert stars with Ralph Richardson, James Fox and Ian Holm in Hugh Hudson's Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. Now on BBC One, here we go with eight hours of entertainment as we don our red noses and hand over to Comic Relief. And for the rest of Friday evening on BBC One, it's back to Terry Wogan and his guests who continue the appeal for Children in Need. And now on BBC One, the high spirits and amazing powers of everyone's favourite nanny take us on a musical fantasy with Julie Andrews as Mary Poppins. Here on One, a chance to decide just how well served you are by the BBC, as Sue Lawley presents a special programme taking you behind the scenes to see for yourself. Now on BBC One, a television film premiere. We invite you to sit back and enjoy one of the most successful movies of the 1980s. Paul Hogan stars as the legendary outback hero, Crocodile Dundee. And now on BBC One, we present the world television premiere of one of the most successful films of all time, Steven Spielberg's magical tale of a young boy who befriends a rather strange-looking alien abandoned by his kinsfolk. He's an extraterrestrial, or in short, E.T. Now, for over five years, this has been the symbol that's been used to introduce neighbours. Ed, did you know that from tomorrow morning at five past nine, it's going to be different? <coughs> Yes. yes, it's a present from them upstairs for us. So for the last time, with this, neighbours. Now on BBC One, matchmaking of a different kind in EastEnders. In five minutes, we join Alan Titchmarsh for today's entertainment from the foyer of Pebble Mill. First on BBC One, the latest summary of news with Andrew Harvey. There it is. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's wonderful. BBC One, Neighbours. First on one, a confrontation with a cunning caterer in EastEnders. After, we've sampled life on a somewhat smaller scale in Walford Territory, where the settlers are EastEnders. So without any further ado, we pull open our Christmas comedy cracker to find some fun and games in Maplins. Heidi hi, campers. 
Now for Christmas Day, a movie premiere on BBC One. Bernard Hill stars as the bad-tempered husband, Tom Conti, the dream lover, and Pauline Collins gives an acclaimed performance as Shirley Valentine. <laughs> A movie premiere for Christmas night now on BBC One, starring Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore and Whoopi Goldberg in Oscar-winning form. Ghost. In ten minutes on BBC One, The Clothes Show, before which Terry Wogan and Sonia tantalise us with another pair of potential Eurovision smashes. Action and adventure first on BBC One. The Sheriff of Nottingham is stealing from the poor to give to the rich and only one man in England can stop him. A family movie for Christmas Day now on BBC One. Robin Williams is a grown-up 1990s Peter Pan rediscovering Neverland and crossing swords with Dustin Hoffman, the evil Captain Hook. It's a gathering of the old gang to face a new and deadly threat. For BBC One now, the movie that set the ball rolling, Star Trek, the motion picture. Your weekend fix of sport now on BBC One in Grandstand with Steve Ryder and Sue Barker. Lightning sends robot number five AWOL with a childish taste for mischief now on BBC One. Madcap misadventure in short circuit. Before question time, in half an hour on BBC One, some ripe language as Dave Allen joins Clive Anderson. It's all action at Holby General in 20 minutes. First from BBC One, may the voice be with you. Now on BBC One, time to open up this week's country file with John Craven. Now on BBC One, a chance to catch up with the week's events in Albert Square. Inside the strange and unexplained, now on BBC One, Carol Vorderman returns for a new series of mysteries. Attempting to save her daughter from a life of sleaze in a seedy underworld, Lindsay Wagner stars in tonight's film drama, now on BBC One. Before that, on BBC One, a new series of Face Value with Alice Beer. Here on BBC One now, Dell paints himself into a corner. Dreams of leaving now on BBC One, real for some, traumatic and scary for others. It's a tough day in casualty. Forbidden love becomes even more entangled. A dangerous police operation in Undercover Heart, 9.30, here on BBC One. That's after tonight's action thriller on BBC One, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. When murder triggers an international crisis, there's only one man who can sort it. Commander. Live and uninterrupted, Grandstand on BBC One with Steve Ryder. Here on BBC One in half an hour, an escaped killer who Mulder and Scully have come across before seems to be on a fox hunt. Fancy winning a million now on BBC One? You'll be lucky. And now BBC One Christmas Eve news in the South East. This is BBC One. On BBC One, raising a laugh and the odd eyebrow. Watch out, it's Ben Elton. Let him entertain you first on BBC One for one night only. Robbie Williams. You're watching BBC One, where members of the royal family join the nation to commemorate those who laid down their lives. This year's festival of remembrance. The only way is up in airport in 50 minutes. First on BBC One, the mother in labour en route to the hospital starts a frantic shift in casualty. There's a monster on the loose and charming the ladies in the X-Files in half an hour. Another shaggy dog story first on BBC One 
in airport. Chasing the eclipse across the globe now, BBC One pays its last visit to Cornwall for the day's highlights with Michael Burke. Here on BBC One, BBC News 24. With Auntie's Bloomer's Hall of Blame in half an hour and Britain's Strongest Man at five to seven, prepare yourself for a truly mammoth Saturday night here on BBC One. Through the small hours of Boxing Day, now on BBC One with BBC News 24. And BBC One now joins BBC News 24. Carol Kirkwood will have the latest weather forecast in just a moment. Taking on the underworld, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor in Harlem Nights in half an hour. First on BBC One, check out these dodgy performances. An extra programme on the fuel crisis earlier this evening means we're running just over half an hour later than billed here on BBC One. As a result, Mr Jealousy, the second of tonight's films, is now at 12.40. It's all action in the air before that, with some strong language, as Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer battle it out in widescreen for the accolade of Top Gun. A film premiere for Christmas Day, now on BBC One, the winner of 11 Academy Awards. Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet star in Titanic. Don't get mad, get even. Sweet revenge for Paul McGann on BBC One after Holby City. A question of loyalties in Rebel Heart on BBC One tonight at ten past nine after a birthday surprise in Monarch of the Glen. Tonight and tomorrow on BBC One, the crime double starring Clive Owen and a new investigation, Murder in Focus with Second Sight. Now on BBC One, from a time the world forgot, Walking with Beasts. Digital viewers can go interactive by pressing the red button now or use the tech service. This is BBC One, joining BBC News 24. An injured gerbil and a new start for one of the vets in practice tonight here on BBC One at 7. Parkinson at Christmas is tonight at 10.15. Now, back to ancient Egypt for a magical adventure. It could be a bit scary for younger kids, so get ready to hide behind the sofa as BBC One unleashes The Mummy. And we're off to the Animal Park now here on BBC One. Later than planned, it's a change to the build edition. The bits you weren't meant to see, an outtake TV EastEnders special at nine. And we're off to the square now on BBC One. So which Maria should be tied up with string? Keep voting for who you want to save and Ronan Keating joins Graham with the results show at 9.25 here on BBC One.
movie that spawned a huge hit series. Now on BBC One, Christy Swanson is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, if you missed the final episode of Material Girl, catch it on the BBC HD channel tonight at 8. Wedding day surprises here on BBC One and watch out at the end of the show for someone you may know. The Olympic legacy lives on. Athletics live from the Great North City Games in 45 minutes here on BBC One and BBC One HD. So just a couple of hours until tonight's bang goes the theory and as you just saw Jem will be testing the power of suction using vacuum cleaners to help him climb a building. And now on BBC One, a new week on The Weakest Link. Hands up if you're all ready for Christmas. Well, BBC One definitely is, so make yourself comfortable with us right across the festive season as we aim to please with more of the shows you love. I'm sure this is one of your favourites. Over there. Oh, <laughs> 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 
When a Chinese princess is kidnapped and sent to America, our hero Jackie Chan is sent 5,000 miles to bring her back. Later than build, now on BBC One, this is Shanghai Noon. Six, the BBC News now on BBC One with Rita Chakrabarti. Have I got news for you at 8.30? Whilst most of our sport is currently benched, we've got the next best thing for you now on BBC One. How is it May already? I'm keeping you company all night live here on BBC One. Be with us at nine to see who joins Graham on the virtual sofa. But first, we've got the real thing. Yes, I know they're cute. They don't do a lot though, do they? But they are excited about tonight's live Strictly. That's at 7.25, aren't you? They don't get more excited than that. Hello, everyone. This is Virginia. I'm Dame Vera's daughter, and I'd like to read out a message from her. Hello, everyone. I know we're facing a very difficult time at the moment, but I've seen so many people, despite their struggles, joining together and helping each other. This country has come through some tough times before, and because we are a strong nation, we will meet again. Good morning. From today, you might notice our TV channels look a little bit different. We hope you like it. Right now on BBC One, it's time for breakfast. Coming up on BBC One, the search is on for a home and holiday let. Escape to Cornwall with us in 45 minutes. But first, the coins are stacked. Here's Rick. Hello, Wednesday morning. I'm Alison, live with you on BBC One. Later, the stakes couldn't be higher for Sid. Doctors here at 1.45, but now Dom is bringing a delicacy to your door. It's officially Christmas, thanks to Sean the Sheep and his friends for turning on the lights here on BBC One. He'll be glad of those woolly jumpers. Ooh, it's cold outside. Let's stay indoors with the very best Saturday night TV. Now on BBC One, as the Queen's Coffin arrives to London, live coverage of the eve of the procession to lying in state. I got news for you is back later at nine. Welcome to Friday night on BBC One. Bob Mortimer with one of the funniest stories yet, but is it true? Would I lie to you the unseen bits from the last series in half an hour here on BBC One. This week's top four cook for last year's finalists. A place in the semi-finals at stake in MasterChef in half an hour. First on BBC One, new truths, new lies. Yes, looking forward to the new series just half an hour away here on BBC One. Before that, let's cook 